Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Let's continue on our journey to a rocket launch in Factorio. Um, since the last episode, I added another vertical walking path here, uh, just to give us another pathway to get to the lower portion of the base. Um, and what I'd like to do today is to set up military science. All right, so there's our space uh, as we normally do. Uh, establish where our first machine is gonna go. Uh, let's bring in electricity uh, right about there, ought to work. And there we go. All right, so let's look at military science packs. Uh, military science takes 10 seconds each uh, so normally we might think, well, we need 10 machines making military science, but um, if you look at the top carefully, you can see that it says two times military science pack, which means that this is actually going to produce two packs every 10 seconds. So we only need half as many buildings, uh, which in this case is going to be five. Uh, so let's start by getting that set up. Uh, there we go. That's five. And we'll put in our power poles and lights in the standard way. Military science pack. All right. So what do we need for these guys? Uh, we need turrets. We need grenades and piercing rounds. Uh, so that means that we'll need about two belts uh, feeding in. Um, one belt shared and then one belt with a single item. Uh, or we could possibly do some direct insertion. Uh, let's look at these ingredients. All right, grenades take eight seconds each. Uh, so that means that for grenades, we are going to need uh, four because we need to make one every two seconds. Uh, so we would need four machines making grenades. Piercing rounds take three seconds. Uh, so we're going to need, I believe, two of those. Yeah, that would be one and a half seconds each. And then turrets take eight seconds. So we're going to need four of those as well. Okay. Uh, the turrets are going to take a lot of gears, copper and iron. Grenades take iron and coal. And here we need steel, copper, and iron. Um, so what we're going to see pretty quickly here is that military science uses a lot of iron. Uh, really, it, it's going to suck up most of the iron that we have available to us. Um, so let's put the output belt on this side. And then what we'll do is, uh, do I have enough room here? No, I don't want to do it there. I think we can cross there. Yep. What we'll do is we'll bring it over and side load it onto the same belt that contains the blue science packs. And then that'll take it over to the labs. All right, so we can set that up first. Whoops. There. Okay, I got that part done. That was the easy part. All right, and then, uh, like I said, we'll need uh, two belts. Let's say we could have we could have both of them going down, uh, and then we can take advantage of the space above us to uh, to build the rest of this. Okay. So why don't we start with the turrets? Now turrets, uh, like I said, we're gonna need four of those. So why don't we go ahead and line these up here? One, two, three, four. Those are for turrets. And then we also need, you know what, let me, let me leave a little bit of space. Oh, I need more power poles.
All right, so we'll use this to make the turrets. And then I'm thinking we could have that belt come down like this. And then on the other side, we can make the grenades because those both need four assembly machines. So those are both eight seconds each. Yeah, we do need one up there, too. There and there. And then lights. Okay. So let's, um, let's take care of the grenades first. Or the turrets first. So these need uh, 10 gears, 10 copper, and 20 iron plate every 8 seconds. Uh, there's four of these, so we need to deliver that every, basically every two seconds. We need 20 iron plate, uh, 10 and 10. Uh, so that's going to be per second, 10, 5, and 5. Now to make five gears per second, we're going to need three machines, right? Because each one makes two per second. So two and a half machines would make five. Um... So I think we're going to have to bring that in on a belt because there's not, I don't know if there's really a good way to do. No, I guess there is a good way to do a three to four ratio. We could do this. And direct feed. Uh, but then the issue would be feeding all the iron plate into here, which is going to be hard. We need the room. So we're going to have to put plates on a belt. Um, now for the iron, uh, if it's 20 every 8 seconds, then that is 2.5 per second, right? 20 every 8, divide by 2, that's 10 into 4, divide by 2, that's 5, yeah, 2.5. So I think we could share a belt. We could share a red belt with iron and copper and then have another belt with the gears. I think that will work. Um, actually, let's do, let's do some stack inserters instead of the fast inserters. All right, so this will be iron and copper. Um, and then, like I said, we'll need another belt for gears. Like that. And then, where do we put the gear machines? I guess we could put the gear machines up above. Let's get rid of some of this stuff here. All right. So let's put three machines making gears. All right, and then those can pull the iron that they need off of the same belt, assuming that that's going to be fast enough. All right, uh, stack inserters. And then we need long inserters to grab the gears. And then these need long inserters to place the gears. Okay, so I think that should work. So anyway, let's get um, let's get some iron and copper up there. All right, sorry, had a quick break there. Okay, so we're gonna need high volume extraction here for sure. So let's uh, 
set that up. Because like I said, we're gonna be using a heck of a lot of iron. Um, actually, I need to move this over by one so that I can get these undergrounds. That's what, three spaces. There we go. Two, one. All right, and that goes up. That, no. That goes across there. All right, and then rebalance there. Okay. Um, let me move that pole. I'll put it right there. Okay. So there's iron. And then the copper we want to come up here. And for that, we'll try it with just a simple extractor like that. All right, and then this comes up. Now when I'm crossing yellow and red belts, uh, normally I'm gonna give priority to the red because underground yellows are much cheaper than underground reds. Okay, so let's see if this is enough iron and copper to keep this running at full speed. I'm not quite sure if it will be. Uh, the copper is going to back up there, obviously. Um, yeah, that's not looking good. Although it does have to load twice as much the first time. So maybe once I get started, this will be good enough. Let's take a look here. Let this run for a minute or so. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might need... I think I might need a dedicated belt of iron. Yeah, because these machines are not... are not going fast enough. Then again, it doesn't seem like it's stopping, uh, but this is not gonna get 10 gears in time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to bring, we're gonna have to bring a dedicated belt of iron up here. So let me pick all this up. Okay, so what we could do is pick that gear up. All right, so we'll bring up just iron. And then we can bring well, let's just use a red belt. This can be gears. And then we can load copper on the inside of this belt. Let's rotate that belt. That way it won't go here. All right, and 
this will be copper. All right, so let's try that. All right, so we'll bring the iron first. Okay, I need more supplies. Let's go grab some supplies. Uh, I think I need the power poles as well. I'll get some lights. And everything else, I think we're okay. So there's iron. Okay, uh, that looks a lot better because the belts are all backed up. That means that we're bringing it in more than fast enough and these guys are running full speed. Okay, so I think we got that part of it taken care of. Let's take a look at our grenades. Uh, grenades need 10 coal and 5 iron. So five iron every eight seconds is less than one per second. 10 coal every eight sec is less than two per second. So I think, I think a single yellow belt, well, we'll do red anyway. Now let's do, let's do yellow. We'll do a single yellow belt with iron and copper split. Uh, and that should be enough. And then what else? Oh, we also need bullets. Okay. So let's leave room for the bullets as well. Yeah, the bullets I think I'm going to feed in like this. Alright, and because we need two bullets, and bullet take, bullets take uh, regular magazines, uh, so we'll feed them like this. All right, so actually we will do a red belt of iron because these are going to use uh, four plates per second. Uh, we could use, well, one of these would be fine. Okay, and then these need copper and steel. So uh, we will also need a mixed line of copper and steel. And these are coal and iron, right? Okay. coal there. Uh, that can really be yellow. I think we only have a yellow belt of coal anyway. All right. So I'll split off some copper here. Whoops. Actually, let's just bring that up. One. Okay, and then we need some steel. So let's bring up steel. There we go. That's our 
steel. Okay. Uh, and then this is iron. Now, does this one have to be high extraction? I don't think it has to be, but uh, I think we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Oh, I didn't give it the iron yet. Okay. Let's bring in some iron. So these should start making ammo. Um, so again, these these take three seconds. They need one of the yellow ammo every three seconds. Uh, and this can make one per second. Uh, so that's why we only need, let's do the next level there. That's why we only need one of these in between these two. Oh, I need to extend the belt there. Okay, and then that iron feeds up here, uh, and then this needs to be coal. Uh, and this is the reason why I have coal on the belt, since we do need it for military. All right, so we'll just run our belts. get our inputs here. Now we need to pick up 15 items in 8 seconds. Uh, so a single fast inserter ought to do the trick. Getting tired of waiting. Let's go. Okay, that's looking good. All right, and then uh, we just need to get our input set up here. Put the long and the regular inserters, and then military science will be on its way. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to extend this belt by one. I'm going to grab my filter inserter. And I'm going to tell this to pick up grenades. And we'll limit that to one stack. Um, and that way, whenever we have extra grenades that are not needed for science packs, um, they'll pass the end of the belt and they'll get placed into that chest. And that way we have a place where we can go and grab grenades um, that we can use to destroy trees. And I think, I think the game was, with the science packs in the game today, I think it was designed... Uh, with this in mind, that it, it kind of forces you to automate uh, a lot of the common items in the game. Um, you know, for example, green science packs, you got inserters and belts. Uh, for the blue, 
you know, we have mining drills and engines uh, being automated. Uh, here we've got turrets, ammunition, and grenades. You know, these are all things that uh, you would find use for in the game. Um, now, the way that myself and a lot of other people set up our bases is that we have a dedicated area to make those types of supplies uh, that we're going to be using, you know, for our own purposes. So um, having it automated in the science packs, uh, for me, is just another place to automate it. You know, I'm not going to rely on that solely for those items. But, uh, you know, depending on how you play the game, you might just want to have your science pack areas be the place where those things get produced. Uh, and in the case of grenades, we are going to do that. Now, we're not always going to have a lot, <clears throat> but uh, I suppose we could fix that pretty quickly. We could just add another grenade machine here, since we've already got the items for it. Uh, we could just extend this belt a little ways. All right, and so we'll overproduce some grenades and then uh, we'll always have some available for taking out trees in, uh, in fun and exciting ways. Okay, so military science is going. Uh, as you can see, it's coming down this belt. And then once it gets over here, it side loads onto this one along with the blue science packs. And then that makes its way up to the labs where uh, for now they're just going to stack up because we don't need any at the moment. Um, but once we get Mining Productivity 7 done, uh, we can start doing some of the research that requires the military science packs. All right. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much once again for watching. Uh, and as always, if you have questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave me a comment and I will get back to you relatively quickly. Um, also, uh, if you are enjoying this series and you find it useful, please hit the like button. Uh, that will help get me up in the search results so others can find this video more easily uh, if they need the, uh, the tutorial as well. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.